Would you believe us if I told you there's a chewing gum out there that can help prevent tooth decay? Really? Yeah, I'm not talking about Double Bubble, Hubba Bubba, or Bazooka. Fruit Stripe, Juicy Fruit, Big Red, Double Mint, the center of a glow pop. Big League Chew, remember Big League Chew? I do look at it. I'm talking about, no, 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 hang on, don't show them. You gotta play the intro first. Welcome to Tooth Brothers. I'm Dr. Scott. I'm Dr. Kevin. We're coming to you from Adel Dentistry. We talk to you about teeth, dentistry, and the dental office. If you're watching us on YouTube, if you could hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. If you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, go ahead and give us a thumbs up as well. We'd greatly appreciate that. Now, the gum we're talking about is gum containing xylitol. 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 Yes, that's right. Xylitol. Xylitol. What is xylitol, Dr. Kevin? Xylitol is an artificial sweetener. And like most artificial sweeteners, it stimulates the sweet receptors on our tongue many, many times more than typical sugar does. And because of that, there's many, many times less of it that's able to be put into products like gums and uh, candies, those sorts of things. Um, the superpower that xylitol has is that when bacteria eat it, they can't digest it. And it just builds up inside of them and it keeps them from growing. So this is just one example, uh, example that I like to eat or chew, I'm sorry, is icebreakers ice cubes. Now the main ingredient, the first, what you want to look for when you're trying to find a xylitol based gum is look on the back where it says ingredients and you want the first or second ingredient to say xylitol. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it says xylitol. And also what's cool about this particular product is it is ADA, it does have an ADA seal of acceptance. Uh, the ADA recommends here helps prevent cavities when chewed for 20 minutes after eating. There are different xylitol products out there like beverages and foods, but there are, you know, we do want to give you a, a word of caution here when it comes to ingesting a lot of xylitol. You know, like any sugar alcohol, we also can't digest it. And so if you get too much, you can get some abdominal discomfort, cramping, bloating, those sorts of things. Uh, most of the time in a piece of gum, that's not going to happen. It's not enough to cause that. So we're not... I'm not personally too concerned about that. Some people are more sensitive to it than others. Um, if you try it out and you get that kind of an issue, then I might want to discontinue use. But So the way Dr. Kevin and I like to use xylitol is that we keep it in our car as xylitol-based gum, and not all the time we have a toothbrush on us, so we throw some xylitol in after lunch, especially if we have anything sugary. We are good, we never had anything sugary, right? Never once. Never once, but that's how the way, how we like to use it. Now it's not a substitute for brushing, it's not a substitute for using fluoride toothpaste or flossing. Yeah, fluoride is, is definitely still more effective at preventing tooth decay than xylitol, but it is just an, an adjunct. It's a little bit of a help for us. I like to recommend this to patients that are at a higher risk for getting cavities. Uh, it's just that extra little bit of help we can get between meals. Yep. We will link uh, an article that we posted on our blog on our website down below if you want more information about xylitol. Uh, if you like our video, again, give us a thumbs up and comment below if we miss any bubblegum uh, mentions from the intro. I would like to hear all y'all's favorite bubblegum. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.